and then so before i get you out of here i want we ought to touch on just just that halo story uh what's your favorite game and what game are you currently playing right now oh man the favorite game have to be relative like right now (sighs) i like the last of us but the game that got me into like the game that saved my life was halo and uh what am I playing right now? Uh, a little mixture of everything, but come on, it's he- hell divers oh, okay. for democracy. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, you said that that game saved your life. Can you elaborate what you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. So when I grew up as a kid, I was, I, I'm, I'm from upstate New York, and as you can probably guess, there's not a lot of black people. So I got picked on a lot. And I was also really small, um, like a, ch- a tiny child. So I got stuffed in lockers. Um, man called names, picked up. I got picked up and put in the basketball, but I got picked on. And a lot of times I would find myself in like the bathroom uh, trying to inflict pain on myself. Uh, I would shoot, I would take a rubber band with uh, toothpicks and shoot them into my leg. That could cause me pain. Um, I didn't have friends. I didn't, I really didn't. And what saved my life was after school, I would go home, I would turn on the Xbox that I, I was gifted from my mom, it was amazing, she worked hard to get it, and I got Halo, and I met friends, I met friends uh, in the area, I met friends across the globe, and every day, the only thing that made me want to keep going was to jump on Halo and play with my friends. That, that's a beautiful story, bro, and I'm sorry that that stuff happened to you when you were younger. Obviously, you're a fucking beast now, so you don't need me to like feel sorry for you or anything like that, but um, I guess, what? why did that stuff happen to you, dude? Like, was that a bad friend group you were in or something like that? Or like, I didn't, I didn't really have too many friends. I had a, a handful. Um, and those friends were, were definitely the people that uh, made me happy. I only, yeah, this is definitely a select few. Um, Mark, Mike, Nick, two Nicks. They're, they're the best people that I, and Jordan, my bad, five friends. They're the best people that uh, I could be around. But I don't know why I got picked on. I think I was a bad kid. I was definitely a bad guy. I was mouthy. I tried to stand up for myself sometimes. And I just couldn't do it because I was short. I was small. I was like five foot in ninth grade. I was just a tiny person. So glad I had this, this sprout. Um, yeah, but gaming is, is something that can save your life for sure yeah uh and something that kind of like came out of that a little bit or well first of all so you were kind of just uh you you would like to stick up for yourself but so would people talk shit to you or something like that like if somebody calls you short or something i'm kind of guessing then you would talk shit back and then shit would end up going all the yeah, way south probably like something like that some curse words back go f yourself go f your mom stuff like that <laughs> I, was, I was pretty bad too okay s s my d i said a lot to people even teachers oh I got, really i got in a lot of trouble yeah so how did you overcome that little aspect of your life because i know that halo came along and you started playing but you still got to show up to school every day and shit like that you know with like in person i guess i guess it wasn't too bad um after i found something that made me happy because to be unhappy for the how long was school seven hours something like that to be unhappy for seven hours and then a whole night because I barely ever slept. So it was a trade off, kind of like, like kind of like now. Like I, I don't like to fight, but I'll do that fifteen minutes to get the freedom for the year. Yeah. And you said you barely slept because you had a lot of stress or something uh, I, like I, that. I, no, I just play video games all night long oh. right, until morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see. I see. But uh. That only lasted maybe like two years, ninth and ninth grade and tenth grade. Um ninth grade the most because I was the smallest. When I went into tenth grade, I started wrestling and I developed, you know, like a, a man's growth. I started growing. Um, then I started doing insanity. I would game into like 12 and then I would get off the game. I would do insanity and then I'd go back in the game. What's uh, insanity? Insanity workout. Sean T. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I would do the insanity workouts in the middle of the night at 12, 12 AM. Go to go back on the game, go to sleep, wake up, go to school. I do it every single day. And I started eating more. And then randomly I just grew. I was like five ten. 
in 10th at the end of 10th grade. Nobody picked on me. I was big. I was wrestling. So I knew how to wrestle. Um, I started boxing. So I knew how to box and everyone was like, Oh, don't, don't mess with Mike. Now he's a fighter. He's a boxer now. And it, that felt good to me. 